In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at an effect you can use on a still clip or a video clip in your production called High Dynamic Range. It's known as HDR. If you have PowerDirector version 16, this is a new feature in 16. You won't find it in earlier versions of PowerDirector. But if you have an earlier version and color director then you can use the tool but if all you have is power director 15 and under you won't have access to this tool so this tutorial won't help you unless you upgrade so let's look at HDR high dynamic range I'm going to click on this first still image and I'm using these just because they're simple click on the fix enhance button above the timeline and on the under the enhance category the fourth item down is HDR effect. That's high dynamic range. Our first is the glow, and the second is the edge. You'll find yourself probably using the glow one more. And that's what I'm going to focus on in this exercise, but we will talk about both. Each of them have three sliders, strength, radius, and balance. And what we're going to look at, first of all, is strength. Notice the default is set to zero in both cases. Let's take the strength of the glow and make it uh, larger. Watch what happens to the picture on the right. Okay, quite a bit of difference here when we add glow to our image. Now the radius will affect the nature of the glow, the impact on the image overall. So if I increase it, You notice quite a bit of difference here. Now the balance, if I click it to the right, it's the highlights. To the left, it's the shadows. So if I increase the glow relate in relationship to the highlights, this is what I begin to see. To the shadows, this is what I begin to see. I kind of like that one there. It's given me a little more contrast and it's helped my center picture stand out from the rest. Now the edge uh, impact of HDR starts out with zero and I can increase it. And what this does is this makes things what I would call grittier. Especially if you look around the edge of this petal here, you begin to see the difference. Let's dial it back and then dial it up again. Let's change the radius impact of it too. Now I don't see visually with my eyes quite as much difference uh, with the edge as I do, I see right there a little bit, as I do with the uh, glow. And then of course you have the same balance between the highlights on the right and the shadow of the edge effect on the left. But you can wind up with quite a different picture, either a still picture or video using this feature. Let me show you a couple of other examples of using this. I'm going to click over here and we'll take this picture and we'll do uh, HDR, high dynamic range. And here we have a picture shot in the wrong direction, obviously. But watch what happens when I add some glow to it. I'll move it to the right. You notice instantly the clouds look different. The trees look much different. I'll even up the radius a little bit. And here we have quite a different picture. It doesn't take my arch out of the shadow, but it really changes the impact uh, of, of the photograph in this situation. Again, we could work on the edge, and I'm, I'm less excited about what I can do there, uh, but we could uh, strengthen it, change the radius of it, and uh, I think in general it gives me more of a surrealistic feel um, when I work on the edge, so I'll dial that back to just about the same. But I do like the glow effect and what it can do here in this particular picture. Close that. Now we'll move over here to my web picks and we'll uh, 
to fix enhance HDR. And this is one where glow will make quite a bit of a difference. So as I increase the strength of the glow, notice how it's going to change the impact of the welder, especially the light. Okay. I like what it does here. If I change the radius of the glow, notice how it changes the look and feel of the wrinkles in the work shirt as so I dial it up. Okay. And then I can go balance. I can go uh, with my highlights on the one side or apply it to my um, shadows on the other. Nice way to change things. Again, you can work on the edge, and if I strengthen this, increase the radius, again, it becomes kind of more gritty, almost like it's a painting rather than a picture. And so I tend not to want to use those there unless that's the, the effect I'm looking for. But it's a nice way to begin to modify uh, the look and feel of your photographs or your video in CyberLink PowerDirector 16 and above.